Hi everyone, welcome to TechVerse. In this video, let me show you how you can easily implement uh, 700 watts inverter with the CMD4047 IC. It can be easily upgraded to handle 1000 watts without a problem. The final build is as shown here. So you'll have your 12 volts input, and here are your three connections to the primary of a single tab transformer. Here are the power MOSFETs. I recommend you use the IR. F3205 since they can easily handle 100 amperes and so they should have no problem whatsoever of outputting more than a thousand watts uh, as long as they are mounted on proper sized heat sinks to dissipate the excess heat so this is the potentiometer for adjusting the output frequency to get a frequency between 50 hertz and 60 hertz depending on the region you are in so this is the IC the CD4047 and its biasing network so here are the storage capacitors so in case you're interested with the PCB, it looks, as shown here, it's rather simplistic. It occupies a very tiny board area for its power. So this is the schematics. So you have your 12 volts battery. So I recommend you use a regulator. You can use a 7809 regulator for the IC or a 7810 regulator for the IC. Or if you do not intend to use more than 12 volts, you can connect the IC directly to the power source. So this is the input capacitor filter for the power supply. It eliminates any noise generated when the MOSFETs are switching. So our, the diode is just an LED to indicate when the inverter is operating, so it will just turn on. So this is the IC for the project, the CD4047 is a very common a stable multivibrator IC which generates two signals which are in opposition. The connections are as shown here. Pin 14 is the VCC and pin 7 is the ground. They are not shown in these schematics. But just have a hands up. So connect pin 5, 4 and 6 to VCC as well as pin 14. Then connect pins 8, 9 and 12 and 7 to ground. So the oscillator output remains without any connection. Then the frequency is determined by the timing capacitor C3 and the resistor, which in this case have included a fixed resistor and a potentiometer for firing or fine tuning the output frequency. So adjusting these parameters to change the output frequency. You can look online for the exact formula for the frequency of this particular IC. So pins 10 and 11 generate the output square wave passes, which will be used to operate the MOSFETs. You can use the IRF Z44N and parallel two of those to obtain about a thousand watts, or I recommend you use the IRF3205. They are the most used in inverters. They have a very high current handling capacity of 100 amperes. So basically what happens is when pin 10 is high, pin 11 is low and vice versa. So when pin 10 is high, Q1 will conduct and current will flow from the 12 volts through this half winding of the transformer into ground. So the other MOSFETs remained unconnected. So when pin 10 turns off and pin 11 turns on, current will flow from the 12 volts through this other half of the primary winding into ground. This is modern time usually included in the IC, so at no point will the two MOSFETs conduct at the same time. So this D1 is simply a single inline connector for the primary of the transformer. So you will need to use a separate transformer in reverse order and connect it back to back. So at the output you have either your 120 volts or 220 volts AC depending on the turns to ratio of your transformer. So that's all about this simple inverter circuit. Please don't forget to like this video, comment below if you have any queries or suggestions, and subscribe to my channel of Techverse for more amazing tutorials and projects. I'll see you in the next episode, and have a nice time.